Hi, I'm Jonathan Nicholas. I'm the president of Cycle Oregon. Welcome to the ride. Well, it was about nine years ago that this whole thing got started. I was traveling out here in rural Oregon, and in those uh, early 1980s, the economic recession was pretty bad in this part of the state. And so as part of that, we sort of hatched this idea to bring some people from the urban area out to these really small towns, and, and frankly, uh, just simply to spend some money to bring some economic development in that way. Since those early days, though, the thing has grown and developed far beyond our wildest dreams. And what we've come to realize through the years, the most important thing we've come to realize, I think, is that the communities give far more to us than we give to them. It's the kind of culture where people still sit out on their front stoops and they wave as you go by, where they all get together to raise bonds because that's the only way the bonds get raised, where they know each other, where they bake pies when visitors are coming over, and when, uh, when you're new in town, they say, why don't you come have dinner? Oh, there's 2,000 of you, well, come have dinner anyway. Um, and it's been really terrific for us to have this opportunity to, uh, to get to celebrate rural culture here in the American West. We chose this year's route because the folks here in Lakeview invited us to come down and take a look at this part of the Oregon desert. Uh, you know, it's funny, most people in Oregon think of the Oregon desert as this vast, empty spaces out here in eastern Oregon. And it's uh, true, when you fly over it, when you drive through it, it looks like an empty space. When you come out here on a bicycle, though, it looks very different. You see that the desert is really teeming with wildlife. It's full of the smell of sage, the smell of alfalfa. At night, it's hard to fall asleep because the stars are so incredible. Uh, so they invited us here to the Oregon desert. That's that's why we came, and we're certainly glad that we did. On Saturday, September 7th, 2,000 eager cyclists arrived in Lakeview, Oregon to begin an adventure of a lifetime. when writing a column for the Oregonian newspaper here in Oregon that I decided it might be fun to uh, take a bicycle out and ride around this state. And we've been doing it every year since. Well, let me uh, start tonight by welcoming back those of you who've been with us before and giving an especially warm Cycle Oregon welcome to all those of you who are on your first ride. I think you're in for a great time this week and please welcome everyone who's a newcomer to our ride. You know, a couple of years ago, when I was looking back over all the different routes that we've taken during the years, I noticed as I looked over the map of Oregon that there was one kind of a big hole in the map of a place that we'd never been to. And it was right around that time, and this is back around 1991 or 1992, that I first started to get letters from uh, some of the folks who lived right here in Lakeview, Oregon. And they started to tell me about this part of the state and its attractions and why we and this event should come down here. And to tell you the truth, I thought sort of, well, yeah, right, but there's nothing down there. And then finally, back in about 1993, I took my first trip down here and spent some days traveling around, and I started to look around. And to be honest, you know, when you start traveling around down here in a car and you look around, you think, God damn, there is nothing down there. <laughs> and then I started to talk more to some of the people in uh, Lakeview and around this area, and I said, well, you know, when we come, I mean, we're talking 2,000 people. Do you really think you can handle that? And they said, yeah, 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 we can handle that. And, and I said, you know, but if we come down here, this is a long way from Portland, we're going to have like 1,000 cars. You know, do you think you can park those? And there was one old guy here in Lakeview, and he, he kind of looked out that way towards the sunset, and <laughs> the desert was out there, and he said, you know, I think we can make them fit. <laughs> So that's kind of how we ended up coming down here to Lakeview. And, and then we started looking around here and we said, well, you know, Lakeview's a real nice place to start, but damn, there's nowhere to go. <laughs> I 
And they said, well, you know what you do is you go out there and you ride around and you come right back here. And if you think we'll give you a good start, we're going to give you a hell of a finish next Saturday night. So please thank these people. They've been just terrific to us. On day one, we pedaled 54 miles from Lakeview to Paisley. County Fire Department, Bay Area. Awesome. Fire! Team Fire. How you doing today? Oh, just great, man. Yeah, you're looking good. Oh, having fun. Yeah, you ready to start this thing? Absolutely. How you feel this first day of Cycle Oregon? It's doing wonderful. Nice up and down. Now we got a downhill that's just marvelous. Couldn't be better. What do you think about the weather? The weather is great. It's been great all week. Won't have a drop of rain. It's marvelous. First day of Cycle Oregon. Great. Came all the way from San Diego to enjoy the beautiful country and we're off to a great start. How's it going the first day of today? Oh, it's excellent. Yeah? Yeah. Couldn't ask for better weather.
I've been here waving at the rider since about nine this morning. I think I'm gonna have to have a swing for my arm. Tell me what you think, Orville, about all these people coming through your town. I think it's pretty nice. It's, uh, it's the biggest bunch we ever had in town. Uh, <laughs> it sure exploited uh, the population real fast. So, you know, it's, it's pretty nice. Of course, I've been waving and hollering at all the girls, the guys I'm not hollering at. We try and get out into a different part of the state, a new part of the state. And one of the things we uh, struggle with each year is, you know, getting all 2,000 of us out summer. And then often on like the first day or the second day, you have to kind of ride through some uh, country you didn't really particularly want to see just in order to, to get to the place you're going to. And, and what I really loved about today was, um, you know, you weren't half a mile out of Lakeview and you were really in the heart of this incredible country out here. And, um, uh, and so I think this was maybe the best first day in Cycle Oregon that we've had in nine years. So yeah. I hope you really did enjoy it. Uh, we decided when we uh, came out here that uh, since you got such a big ride tomorrow, the only way we could really get into a century ride across the Oregon desert was by bringing a really kick-ass band with us from Portland. And we've done exactly that. Please welcome the remarkable Linda Hornbuckle and friends. <laughs> On day two, we journeyed 51 miles from Paisley to Silver Lake with an optional 102 mile loop through Fort Rock.
Michael Oregon. Woo! about your first couple days on Cycle Oregon 9. So far pretty good. I'm a little bit worried about what's coming up though. Yeah, but you're doing, you're making a long one out of today. Other than the 95 mile day, it looks pretty good. Oh, I know. I want to say hello to Alice. Can right. Hi, that? Mom. <laughs> <laughs> I no, don't think that'll make it on the video. Oh, sure, sure, sure. How's it been so far? Great. Yeah? Glad. Speedy. A lot of pace lines. A lot of fun. like a hundred miles. 
don't know. I mean, this is why I do Cycle Oregon, is so I can get out here. Welcome to beautiful downtown Silver Lake. Yeah. You know, if you've been reading your newspapers, you all know by now that there are uh, 2,018 bicyclists out here this week. And then we also have, you know, more than 150 volunteers who are out here uh, working all week with us. So, and they're doing a great job, I think. Now, what all that means is that, you know, we're about 2,200 people rolling down the highway. And you are staying tonight in a town that has 99 citizens living in it. So uh, please thank these guys for doing such a terrific job. All right, what night is it? Monday. Bike rodeo night. <laughs> On day three, we rode 74 miles from Silver Lake to Chilliquin. Go Team Leo! Okay. I love it. What's the best thing about Cycle Oregon? The riding, the weather, being in the middle of nowhere, no phones, no beepers, <laughs> pagers and computers no don't work. <laughs> We're having a lot of fun. It's a great day. I was good last night. I stayed out of the beer gardens, honest. <laughs> it's a great ride. This is my seventh Cycle Oregon. I keep coming back. And I pay to have this much fun. Look in your mirror, you'll see her face. Wheel sucker brown. Wheel sucker brown. She never knows anything but second in place. Wheel, <laughs> wheel sucker brown. Uh, we love you, Lisa. Lisa. Oh, that's for you. <laughs> How you doing today? Oh, great. Weather's well, always a good part of the same package. Every meter, no fail. Great cultural exchange between urban and rural areas. Hi, Alex. Yeah, hi, Alex. It's Grandpa. Grandpa and Mama. <laughs> Grandpa, Grandpa and Mama are doing Cycle Oregon? That's yeah. right. First day was a little hard for me, harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, second day was terrific. Today's wonderful. I get stronger as the days go on. <laughs> What's your name? I'm David Wilcox. This is Nathan, my son. Hi, Nathan. Hi. 
I think you might be the youngest rider on the ride. What do you think about that? I'm the youngest rider. How old are you? Three. Is that your son or your brother behind you? That's my son. What are your name? I'm Steve and that's Josh. How has the ride been so far? Real good. The 100 mile yesterday was worth it. This is my first year. What do you think? Awesome. This rocks. I'm Ed, Ed St. John. Welcome to Chiloquin. I'm president of the Over the Hill Live Steam Club, Miniature Railroad, here in Chiloquin. Are you guys excited about your train ride? Yeah! Unbelievable. Yeah. Very excited. The best part of this train, you don't have to pedal it. <laughs> Welcome to Chilliquin, Oregon. I hope you really enjoyed that Klamath Marsh because that was a truly astonishing landscape we rode through today. And I was really delighted to share it all with you. We took these, these big rocks and we went bam at the bottom. Cody said, oh, that felt good. <laughs> I'm outside looking in through the window. The coldness surrounds me as fast as the warmness surrounds those inside. I am that tail fin road locomotive. You can polish my chrome so clean. We can fly off into the sunset together. A rusty old American dream. On day four, we ventured 61 miles from Chiloquin to Prospect with an optional 104 mile loop around Crater Lake. strategy for today? That's right. You bet it was. We're, we're, we are here. <laughs> and we're going to go there. Fantastic. I made the gates. I hope. How's it going? Hey, it's going good. Crater, Crater Lake. Lake. Beautiful. 
Tell us about your thoughts on this year's Cycle Oregon. Oh, well, Dark Horse one also. It's great. Very well organized. Sports good. Good route. And this is sure a good ride. <laughs> How was it? Oh, hard, but fun. <laughs> How was it? Great, great, great. Well worth it. Well worth it. Alrighty, good evening everyone and uh, welcome to the Rogue River Valley. Yeah, welcome to the land of big trees. Back in big tree country. You know, uh, last night at uh, Chiloquin, after these announcements, uh, somebody came up to me and said, you know, um, if Cycle Oregon has been to Cradle Lake before and if Cycle Oregon has been to Prospect before, why are you bothering to do this again? Uh, and the only thing I could think to say was, well, you know, there's this road from Crater Lake to Prospect, and I kind of like it, so... On day five, we rolled 95 miles from Prospect to Klamath Falls with a third optional sentry. So how's it going today? Pretty good. Good heel too. Keeps the legs going. 
working on some calories. Just the tandem's going. Great way to turn 50. Cycle Oregon is? Uh, being away from everything for a week and uh, totally losing yourself in this, it's just fantastic. You don't care what time of day it is, you don't care what day of the week it is, there's no Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, there's day one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. What's your name? Colin Gilligan. How many years have you done this ride? This is my first year. What do you think? I think it's neat. How old are you? Twelve. And how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Seventy-eight. Great. Are you the oldest rider? I think I'm the 79. Cycle Oregon, there are a whole lot of different people that do an awful lot of work to bring this together, and I wanted to um, just take a minute to introduce uh, one of them uh, tonight, somebody who did a lot of work, um, especially on uh, choosing today's route, and I thought if we brought him up, maybe we could have a hanging. <laughs> Man, did anyone have fun out there today? I sat around the RV all day today, and I've treated like 25 patients, and that's nothing for this ride. You guys did a hell of a job. I mean, this is outstanding. I wasn't expecting to sit there for the onslaught to occur. I had ice bagged and everything else. I got raw fingers from closing Ziploc bags, and you guys did a hell of a job. I really appreciate it. On behalf of all the paramedics and everybody at AMR, they're up there, uh, you know, relaxing tonight, and we really appreciate you guys taking it safe tonight. Thank you. Uh, we had a good day today. Everybody had a lot of fun. We can't have that much fun tomorrow. Uh, the reason people had fun is they kind of forgot what that yellow stripe down the middle of the road means when we had it. It means stay on the right. This was the one event that I'm involved with where a large group of people get together for a week. And it's the only one I can think of where the women get to watch the men wait in line to go to the bathroom just like they have to do. On day six, we traveled 57 miles from Klamath Falls to Bonanza. Hi, my name's Aaron Rogers, and we're from the Klamath Union High School basketball team. Good, Good morning, morning High School, Oregon. Oregon.
Welcome to Malin. Great time. Wish you were here. So how are you guys doing today? Great. Awesome. How's your cycle organ going? It's the best so far. Hey, welcome to Bonanza. I haven't seen Hoss yet, but I'm sure he's around. My name is Rick Chastain and I'm the ride director of Cycle Oregon. Cycle Oregon has gone really well from the standpoint of logistics and organization. We're really happy with the way the food program has run this year. Uh, the volunteers have been very well trained. We feel like they, we've come to the communities and they've been very well prepared to receive us. And then also that the riders themselves bring uh, real lightheartedness and a lot of fun to the tour. So I couldn't ask for a better uh, situation. The main sponsors of this year's tour are, are of course the Oregonian, the title sponsor and has been since the event's beginning. Uh, Columbia Sportswear is a major sponsor and Subaru. We have Cliff Bar, we have All Sport, we have Interstate Distributor. Uh, and that really gives a real good summary of the sponsors of the event this year. Thank you for being a part of Cycle Oregon. Welcome to Bonanza, Oregon. <laughs> you know, there are all kinds of different elements that go together okay. to pull off an overnight stop for Cycle Oregon, and it goes all the way from whether you got ovens in your high school to whether you got a football field that we can camp on to whether you've got you know people that get it and once in a while you come to a place where it all comes together and the whole damn community gets it and that's why we're here in bonanza tonight please thank you all this is organized uh, by a board of directors all of the volunteers who come from all over the state now you know i want you all to take a close look at some of the body fat up here tonight with me because the most remarkable thing about this board of directors is that uh, every one of them rides this ride too. You have to do that to be involved in this organization. So, uh, so they're all bike riders and they're the greatest group of people. So thank you all. Yay! On the seventh day of cycling, my partner said to me, do I have to get up? Don't they make bikes with softer seats? Just On day seven, we cycled 78 miles from Bonanza to Lakeview.
Outstanding. Say hi to mom. Hey mom. Hi mom. Hi mom. Hi there. Send more money. Send tires too. Hi mom. Hi mom. I'm doing it. <laughs> hi dad. Go bears. That's one clean. He's a frog. Don't worry. Be happy. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Hi mom. Hi mom. That was the first one across the line. You were the first one to cross the line. Yay! We made it. Yes, I should say. Great country, great ride. Definitely recommend it for anyone. We've done Cycle Oregon for five years, and, and it? it's an awesome ride. Everyone should do it. And this is for Justin. Hey, Justin. Thanks for the horn. It helped a lot. Hi, my name's Margaret Rux. Hi. My husband Bill and I got married on Cycle Oregon, uh, what was it, eight. Cycle Oregon 8 last, last year. year. And uh, we're happy to be back and more happy to be done at this point because our legs are just more than a little bit tired. My name is Greg Goolsby. I'm from New Jersey, Allendale, New Jersey. Came all the way out to ride Cycle Oregon. It's one of the best rides I've ever been on in my life. We rode almost 600 miles. Three of those days were century days. The weather was great. The people that organized this were great. And it was a wonderful time, I tell you. Nothing like it in the world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The only other thing I need to do is thank you again for uh, all of you for coming and making Cycle Oregon 9 such a terrific experience. Uh, I'll be back next year, and I hope that you all will come and join me. Thank you. Y'all come back, you hear? Bye. Thank you.